Okay, hi, welcome. Um, this video will be um, doing the geometry of a of a CPU cooling block. I took this as a, as just you know sort of a the size is about this. And I'm creating the block first. So I just took for 55 millimeters square, and I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I'm not sure about the width, like how thick it is. So this will be our block. I'm gonna find copper. So this is the block itself. At the bottom, I wanna I wanna make a rectangle. Now this rectangle will represent where the lid of the CPU touches. Now the lid I checked was. 40 millimeters by a 40 by yeah so i have a sketch i go here to curve spill it line and i spill here we will apply our thermal load which will be the lid and we can also do the heat transfer from on the chip itself to the lid and then onto the block but that's a bit too it's a bit too much i would say yeah, we can do it later on maybe so this definitely looks too thick let's say 10 for now now this will be this will be our block and on top of it we'll have the the opposite uh, uh, part that closes it seals it off but basically um i would say this should be the base or find out different geometries different structures for the cooling itself now basically uh, if we look from the top like we could have basically an inlet and outlet right you know what a cooling block looks like something like this like this uh inlet and outlet yeah no i mean here inlet outlet and this is for gpu so something like this you know you have one side is the inlet it goes through some kind of geometry and outlet basically just to increase the the coefficient of and so i think the first thing i would want to try is just have like a tunnel basically i would let's start let's start by doing this i have a sketch here already so let's say my inlet is here this this and another so I want this to be symmetrical center line here make it vertical boom pow this here will be ten millimeters Please. Here to there, ten. All right. You and you are collinear. Say also ten. This one. This one is already fine. Ooh. Put here. Ten and a half looks good. Here we can eight, for example. This and frontal when you also hold and we are fine. Now this geometric plane we add this so that it intersects so here I make a sketch and now I can draw my profile let's say circular because it makes more sense in the sense of actually producing say uh two millimeters two diameter now nah, before all right so this is fully defined close the sketch we go to sweep cut but cut I think it's all right, so this is the profile. This is yeah. All right. 
think I need. Can I tell it what to do on the connections? Normal constant. Yeah, no, I need a bunch of. I need some fillets. I don't really like catch fillet. Gotta do what you gotta do. So let's say that was four, so four millimeters. Here, boom. Four millimeters. One, two, three. Why? Oh, okay, because of the time. Point was point. Going. Okay. Good. We're still fully defined. And now let's see. Ah, uh, that's better. Okay. Now I also want to drill. No, I can say our inlet is here. And yeah, I mean, this is not amazing, but uh, it's a start. We can, we can make it. We can make it more and more complex later on uh, to see kind of how different geometries and different like uh, how you how you maximize your surface area and so on yeah, because there's not a lot can i have surface area 1150 millimeters you can probably get way more than that all right so let's do a bit of inlet Five millimeters, and now we're gonna do assembly. Start. I'm gonna stick this thing in. The All right. Now we have here at fifty-five by fifty-five. Right. Make another part. Part should be something plastic. It's usually plastic. Uh, something acrylic. I want to say. Alright, so top plane. We make a rectangle. 55. Time. Okay. We extrude. It's 5 millimeters thick or so. It's not very thick. I've ever seen one. And you can click this and boom bow just so that it you know they uh, block lid now we go back to assembly we can move so this Good. Now we need to drill some holes. I don't know if I have to, but I usually close this. So, this. I want to have two holes one here, one there. So let's start. Now I need to find out. Equal. Oh. No. Now this is a bit uh, comical because we have a really large hole here. Our channel is really tiny. So, mm, yeah. Project this one. Sketches. So this. Vertical, well, should be vertical and four millimeters away. Contour, uh, we are fully defined, and we uh -uh, that's wrong. I want to, and this, this should be for construction. 
right. So that's using the sketch. Do all this to okay. It was actually a bit silly to do, but uh, yeah, whatever. So we are here. We do a sketch. Go to the center. So yeah, you see why it's silly because now I'm doing this already, basically. But okay. Learn from my mistakes. You <laughs> uh, two are equal and create so Which is this? Good. So now what we do is extrude. Extrude in sections. Okay, good. And this can be like 15. It looks okay. Good. Good. Very good. All right, so we have a bit of a wasted area there, but it's okay. So basically, our block is ready to be simulated upon, which will be the next video. I do apologize. I also have to do a bit of research before I, like, I have to see what the numbers are supposed to be. Then I can also show pretty colors. But yeah, eh, I hope you like it and that you are looking forward for the next one. See you in the laters. Ooh.